Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwebrin.com and in this video, we will show you two methods through which you could capture the OTA update URL from an Android phone. So let's get started. The first method involves the user PC, whereas the second method could be done directly from your phone. Let me first show the, the first method. So for that, you have to enable USB debugging on your phone. For that, go to the settings menu, then go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. This will enable developer option. Now go to system and you should now see developer option. So go there and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone. Tap on OK. You might get an RC key fingerprint prompt. Tap on allow. With this, the debugging is now enabled. So next time you now have to download and extract the Android SDK platform tools on a PC. This is the official ADB binary given by Google and is required to execute ADB command. So download it from the link given in my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. I have done the extraction in eDrive. So let's now verify the ADB debugging connection. So type in CMD in the address bar of platform tools folder and hit enter. This will launch the command prompt window inside platform tools folder directory as you could see. Now type in ADB devices and make sure you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official user cable that came with your phone and use the USB 1.0 port on your PC. So carry out this USB tweaks and make sure you are getting a serial ID. Once you are getting this ID, you are now going to go ahead. So next up, you will now have to make a log cat file, a log file. So for that, you have to use this command and you could replace the OTA file name with any name of your choice. You just have to take a log cat and save the data in a text file. The name could be any name, but for the sake of reference, I am using the OTA name. So simply copy the entire command and paste it in the CMD window. So let me show you and hit enter. The log has now started been taking. So now go to your phone settings menu and from there go to the system page and you should now see update and there tap on install or resume update and the update will now start. So you have to carry out this process for around 10 to 15 seconds and let the log take out a few data of the OTA update and around 10 seconds later you could then close the process by simply tapping on the pause button and over here you could hit the control C to close the log so let's now verify the same so as you could see the log has now been taken and the log file is placed in the platform folder itself it's a text file so you now have to open this OTA text file and look for the keywords such as let me show you some of the keywords the OTA.zip or Google API so Google API is usually for the Android one phones or the pixel phones apart from that you could also check out the OTA or the zip dot zip keyword as well so for the sake of reference let's take the dot zip keyword so open the OTA text file you could open it simply by notepad then you have to hit the control F keyword for the find and type in dot zip and hit enter and it will bring the zip file and as you could see we have got the OTA URL over here so the first zip does not make any sense to us so let's move over to our next zip dot zip so with this as you could see this is the OTA we have got the OTA URL over here so let's simply copy this entire URL and paste it in a new tab or let me just paste it over here itself and now if I hit enter the downloading should now start so as you could see the OTA downloading has now started and you could now simply install the OTA file using the ADB site load or any other method of your choice so guys let's now check out the second method to capture the update OTA URL in this method you could directly do so on your Android phone there is no need for any PC so let me show you how this will be done so first of go to the static menu then from there go to system and go to system update and start downloading the update file so let's wait while the update is being downloaded and as soon as you have started the download now go back now go to about phone and tap on build number seven times this will enable developer option now go to system then go to developer option and tap on bug report and select interactive report and hit the report button so the report will now start being generated and it could take up to a few seconds so around a couple of minutes it could take so let's wait for the time frame for the bug report to be captured and then we'll be back so guys as you could see the bug report has now been captured so just tap on the notification and hit ok and you will now have to save this bug report so let me save it onto my phone so let me select the internal memory and i'll save it over here so the file has been saved let's now access it so let me open the file directly onto my pc so let's try and access the file 
So let's open the file. On, if your phone is not visible on your PC, you, you have to expand the notification section and make sure to expand the U, USB file transfer and select file transfer over here. And then your phone will be visible on your PC. So let's wait for the time frame. If your phone is still not loading, then simply unplug and replug it. Let me do so right away. And our phone should not be visible. So let's access our phone. And as you could see, this is the bug report which we have just captured. So copy it and paste it somewhere onto your PC. Let me paste it over here. And we'll now have to extract this zip file. So right click on it and select extract all. You might get a few error messages while extracting. That's completely normal. In the meantime, let's now let me now pause the update because I don't want to install the update right now. If you want to install the update, you may go ahead, but as of now, just don't want to install the update. So I'm hitting the pause button. This is in fact the Android 14 update as you could see. This is the update that I don't want right now. So I'm waiting. So I hit the pause button. As you could see, you I've got an error message. So just select do this for all current items and click on skip. That's not a cause of concern. We just need a text file and the rest of the file does not matter. So the file extraction is now complete and this is the bug report file and out of this we only need the text file. As you could see over here the size of the text file is around 72 MB. This is quite a large file and notepad might not be able to open it. So it's recommended to use an advanced editor such as notepad plus plus. I'm using that itself so let's right click on this file and select the show more option then choose edit with notepad plus plus. And our bug report should now be opened in Notepad Plus Plus as you could see. So let's just hit the Control F option and type in dot zip and hit enter. So as you could see, this is the OTA URL zip file which we have just got from the search result, and this is the complete URL. You could simply copy the URL from here itself. Let me show you. So let's copy the link, or you could also do so manually by dragging and the entire URL over here and simply paste it till the dot zip format so let's now verify the url as well so let me paste the url over here and hit enter and as you could see that downloading has now started and it's the same update file which we have downloaded earlier you could verify from the file name as well so both of them are given as the same update this is the same update which we have got onto our phone as well so guys on that note i download this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and guys please like this video for more tips and tricks Thanks a lot for watching.